Hello everyone, back with some more coins that I got for Christmas. I um, already showed you this one, which uh, I'm like 99% sure is polished now, thanks to you guys telling me. Thank you guys for telling me that. I wasn't completely sure, but it looked polished to me. So, that one, I really... Uh, it's got the date value, but now it's since it's polished, it's really worth like just about about nothing, really. But I'll show you what else I got. I got these um, well, twenty five um, Indian heads, nineteen hundred, nineteen oh one, nineteen oh two, nineteen oh three, oh four, oh five. And so really they're really just book fillers even though I don't really have a book which I'll probably get Dansko albums for both of these next because I, I need a Dansko album or two plus um, they're really nice albums compared to those I got a lot of them but those are just to fill stuff up Plus, after I get a dance co, uh, you, you know, it's, it's just fun to fill them up and stuff. But, yeah, I got all those. The condition is just, like, in fine, really, for most of them. So, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's just, like, a fine 12. Um, for the buffaloes, um, well... Here's the complete ones I have. Here's the back of them, but it's... Flip these over so you guys can get a better view. Of the front, I have a lot of them, as you can see. But, yeah, it's... I haven't completed um, 1934, 1935, and 1936, all the dates. All for that year. So... Yeah, and that's 37. So there's the back of them. D, D, S. Up. Uh, uh, up. No, that's it. Okay. Oh wait, no, this one goes over here. Okay. Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, it's sloppy. I gotta look at the front. But other than that, there's just. All these are just like the 20 through 30, so that's a 20. You can barely see that. These are like G condition. Like a good uh, 3, well, it could be an AG condition. Some of them, but you can tell the dates. Like these are both 20s, just from Philadelphia Mint. Two from Phil these are all Philadelphia, except for this one. Which is the 28S. So... Really, I'll just do skim over the top. So, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. And that's 30. And these came in just like a plastic bags. So, those were the wheat, um, Indian heads, those were the buffalo. And they obviously took out the more expensive kind because, you know, they're missing dates and stuff. Um, I'll show you this one, which I actually got out of these two that I got as a gift. Um, I think it's an MS-63. It's looking really good. It's got some toning going on. It's got a lot of luster to it. Well, considering how old it is. Well, Turn one of these lights off. Sometimes helps. Yep. It's just a normal 35. But it looks pretty good. So, yeah. Hopefully, um, I already have a 90, 1898 for this. 
in 1862, which I've showed you guys before in a way past video. Da -da -da -da. Only this one's really good. Here, I'll just pop this one out again because I just love it so much. Da -da -da -da. It's got luster left to it, just barely any though. You could see. It's got a little bit, barely any. Just plain. When I put it in, it was lopsided. I always put the mintage there. That's why I see those numbers. Look how lopsided it is. But VF20, 1862. It's. Eh, I got it for a good price. Yeah. I know this is the worst, but I'm just going to zoom in on. Liberty, which you can see a little bit, but not much. And that's it. I made this video way longer than it needed to be. And thank you guys for watching.